Welcome to Buffer Ball, Netless Volleyball with a hint of dodgeball. This is Andrew and I'm Kale, and we're both co-creators of the new game Buffer Ball. Nobody likes setting up a net. It's frustrating, hard to work with, they get tangled. I can tell you right now, Johnny does not like setting up a net. Buffer Ball was designed to have a hassle-free setup. With the Buffer Ball package, it will come with two boundary lines, patent pending, and two court organizers that make it easy for quick setup. With a little bit of practice, in under three minutes, you can set up and tear down in less. Sweet, let's set this up. This is what the final setup will look like. Johnny's on one side in one occupation zone, and Andrew's on the other side in the other occupation zone. I am standing in the buffer zone. This is the distance in between the occupation zones that is 20 feet, and we will show you how to get that. This is our simple clasping system that is easily adjusted between player count. Each white line represents a player count. I am at the four person, Andrew's at the three person, and Johnny's at the two person. Today we'll be playing a three person game. So this is easily adjustable to where Andrew is. All you have to do is slide it down the line and clamp it right on the white. We've almost completed one full occupation zone. I've clamped my side to three person. Andrew has clamped his side to three person. Now all we have to do is stake it down. For safety reasons, make sure your stake is all the way in the ground. We have now completed the first occupation zone and are almost ready to play. When setting up the first occupation zone, be sure to remember to orient the box to make sure you have at least 36 feet of horizontal distance to play this game. When setting up your second occupation zone, we have made it really easy to line up your zones right and have the proper distance in between both occupation zones. And it all starts right here. Hate nets. First of all, when setting up your second occupation zone, you have to make sure that your clasping system is set to four people. Then you have to make sure you have the O ring. Put the O ring down the O ring and move. The depth of an occupation zone is 16 feet and the depth of the buffer zone is 20 feet. The whole length of this line is 36 feet. 20 plus 16 equals 36. So that means this O ring is 20 feet away from that occupation zone. Put a temporary stake in. temporary stake in the back. We're going to unhook these O-rings from these temporary stakes and we're going to walk over to the other side and do the exact same thing. On this side we can permanently stake them down. We'll do one in the back and do one at the front. Once you have the second side's stakes permanently in, Kale is going to swing his end over to the first temporary stake that we put in. Now once you get to this side, if you have it at four person right now, you have to move it to three person to match the other side. Here's the white line for three person, clamp it down. Move this to the temporary stake. After Kale has put his front end in, I'm going to make sure this back side is adjusted to three person as well. And Kale is going to go latch his end up to the front there. After Kale latches his end in, I'm going to pull this side taut and put the stake all the way into the ground. And now you're ready to play. Now that we've had loads of fun, it's time for takedown. When we come down here, we have this connect, we wanna disconnect it, and we use the male end, and we wrap this male end up first, because when we go back to play, we wanna have the female end out first to get that 36 foot measurement. As you can see, we've made it easy. We've set up and torn down, and Johnny's not even out of his net yet. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you for going netless and choosing Buffer Ball. Remember to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. Thanks, Buffer Ballers.